안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남이다. Hi, it's Nami. I'm in a really bad mood right now because my okay, one of my gel polishes they were leaking to the bottom of my container, so like half of everything got soaked in gel. Had to spend like an hour cleaning everything because it was like soaked in gel. And since I did my BT21 nails, it took me two months to sit down and film this because I've been feeling so sick. I'm still feeling sick right now because my head hurts and my stomach hurts and everything. But like my nails are right now at a state of like SOS. Like three of them are falling off. One of them is cracking because I've been trying to preserve their state so that I can film this video. But obviously if nails are growing, their state cannot be preserved because the weight is being shifted on the nail plate they have to be filed down so that they stay proportionate to your fingers and your nails and the weight distribution or else they'll start cracking so right here you can see there's a crack forming this crack is actually running through my nail bed and if it continues i will bleed <laughs> this nail is already you can see it's it's pretty bad like my whole nail plate is like lifted because it's just been way too long. Anyway, no more complaining. I'm just gonna show you how I do my BT21 gel nails because this has been very highly requested and I did not suffer for no purpose. So first I take my nail drill. This one I got from Sally's. I did have a $15 one that I got from eBay or Amazon. However, that one did break. So I did buy this one from Sally's for a little bit expensive. It was like between one or $200 for this drill. And I have to say that it's actually very, very good quality. So I'm just gonna sand down the top layer. Before switching to my fine grit. This gives me more control. So I don't know if you could see, but when I clean my nail, it turns more transparent and you can see the areas that lift more, like right there and right there where it's a little whiter along the inside so i'm just gonna try to move that with the edge being careful not to hit my actual nail but this will make sure that there's nothing that's lifted underneath the gel because that will become a problem later on i must explain before we move any further that i'm not a nail technician this is just things that i've learned over the year and a half that i've been doing my own gel nails and because it was highly requested for me to do a video on how i do my own nails i thought i would film this for you i do however watch a lot of suzy from nail career education here on youtube her videos are very informative and i highly recommend for you to watch them if you would like to see like all the technical details i have learned a lot from Susie in terms of doing my own nails. I am also gonna sand down my natural nail with a really low spin so that the gel will have something to adhere to. I'm gonna apply my pH bond from Gelish just onto my nail. And then I'm gonna put on Gelish foundation which is the base coat. Right along the entire nail. I'm gonna carry it under my UV light. The thing about doing my own gel nails that gets me is that it takes double the time because I only have two hands. So I can't work on the other hand while this hand is carrying because I need this hand to work on the other hand. I think that's why for me, like, kind of a sacrifice to do my own nails because it takes double the time, but I save the money and I get to practice the artistry of nail art. I'm gonna use my structure gel. It's a little bit thicker than regular gel polish, if you can see that. So I'm mostly focused on the base, where my cuticle is. And I do try to create myself a nice arch here, so that the weight is redistributed back to my nail plate, instead of all on the free edge, which is this white area of your nail right here. That way, there's less risk to injury or breakage. And I cure this for about three minutes. It takes a little longer for building gel to cure. And now it's just a waiting game. I'm gonna clean it off with sun rubbing alcohol so that I can go into shaping my nail. To shape my nail, I just make sure that it's kind of flat to my nail bed, especially this side. This side grew a lot. Where the nail kind of becomes like a claw shape. But I just wanna flatten that. 
I am a little worried about this crack that I have running through my nail bed. So I am gonna add an extra layer of the building gel onto this nail. I am also going to file along the top in the whole nail to get a nice shape and smooth out the nail and any lumps. Going to clean this off and start my design. So I decided I'm gonna draw a cookie for this missing nail. So what I like to do is just grab some with my dotting tool and start applying my gel polish in circular motions up until the area that I want. So I think I want Cookie to be about this big. But I want his ears. And then the other side to come up and over. I'm going to cure it for about a minute. I'm gonna clean off my sticky residue so that the rest of the design won't adhere. I'm gonna draw his face with some black polish. Scrub a little bit for his nose, which I believe will be the center of his face. His eyes, boom, and a little bit more. I'm gonna really lightly draw the outline with just thin line and that's cute. I'm gonna cure this for now. Just wrapping my dotting tool, cleaning up, and scrubbing some of the black. And I feel like his face is kind of misplaced, a bit, a little too high and a little bit to the right, but that is okay. I'm gonna use my white polish just to fill in this ear right here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cure it. Clean it off. Throw on my gelish top coat all over the nail. I did originally want to fill the rest of my nails, but I think I am going to remove these after this video. So if you'd like to see me destroying and removing my BT21 nails, feel free to subscribe and click that bell notification so that you know right when that video drops. So that is it for these DIY BT21 nails. Cookie came out really weird here, so I decided to redraw him. And I always get a lot of questions on who did my nails and where I get them done. This is where I get them done, and this is who did my nails. That's why they sometimes look botched. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are looking forward to me destroying these because I will have to probably cut all of them in half or more because they're getting quite long. See ya!